here we have a set of five ionic compounds and it is required for us to describe or select the one with the highest melting point. The highest melting temperature means that you have to put in the most energy to break down the lattice and cause it to um, cause the ions to begin to flow in the liquid. So you have to overcome the forces that exist between the ions. And we have a term, we have a parameter that measures those forces. What is it? What? I'm sorry? No, not quite. Close. Magnesium, uh, I'm sorry, these are all ionic compounds. What, what term um, that we have talked about measures the strength of the interaction between the ions? Say it. Lattice energy. Lattice energy. Right? Because that was how much energy is given off when the ions come together in the gas phase and come down and form the solid. So if you're going to melt them, you have to partially overcome that. So we have to evaluate these in terms of lattice energy. And we said the lattice energy is proportional to the product of the charges, charge plus times charge minus, divided by the sum of the radii of the ions. Radii of the ions. Okay. Now clearly we have um, two different kinds here as far as charges go. This is plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. This is plus two, minus one, plus two, minus one, plus two, minus one. So we said that the charges swamp the radii if there's a difference in charges. So we will select our answer out of the ones that have two positive and one negative charge. So within that group, the charges are all the same. The uh, numerator is the same for all of them. So then we look at the uh, denominator. So we look at the radii of the ions and the smallest sum of the radii will have the most favorable lattice energy. Yes. These are the charges on the ions in these compounds, ionic compounds. And uh, you can tell that from either the electron configuration of the atoms when they form uh, the ions to, to go to the nearest noble gas or from just where they are in the periodic table. Okay? Now, um, what I'm looking for then among these three is the one with the smallest sum of ionic radii. Um, now, we have two that are magnesium, one that's calcium, and we have two that are fluoride, I mean one that's fluoride and two that are iodide. So clearly, we can throw this one out. This has the large cation and the large anion. So then we have to decide uh, among these two. These two both have magnesium as a cation, and so we'll throw this one out because it has a big anion, and that will be our answer. <laughs>